Hello, my name's David Edwards, the film critic on The Daily Mirror. Today we're looking at Clint Eastwood's Hereafter. Give me your hands. I don't even do this anymore. Well, the winning streak had to come to an end sometime. After directing the terrific Gran Torino, Invictus and The Changeling, Clint Eastwood crashes back to earth, directing this absolute clunker, he called Hereafter. And improbably, it was scripted by Peter Morgan, who gave us the Queen. I recognise you. You're that psychic. I have news for you. I don't do it anymore. I give you my word, I won't tell anyone. You have a duty to do it because you have a gift. It's not a gift, Billy. It's a curse. Utilising a three-stranded narrative, Hereafter begins with a French journalist having a near-death experience when a tsunami strikes at a holiday resort. Meanwhile, in San Francisco, a lonely psychic called George, Matt Damon, is struggling to cope with his supernatural powers, while over in London, 12-year-old Marcus is trying to come to terms with the death of his twin brother. All three characters are pondering what happens in life after death. Frankly, they should watch this film if they want to experience living death. Now, while the US storyline is easily the strongest, although fans of The Dead Zone starring Christopher Walken may experience deja vu, the problem are the other two strands, which feel both soppy and dramatically inert. I'm sorry, Clint, but this is a two out of five, and really, maybe it is time to consider retirement. Hereafter.